Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Jaden. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel and we thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with us. It is a pleasure to be with you. It is, we're thankful that you guys are with us. Our family is your family. Jade, who are we and what do we believe? We believe the laws, Tadish, commandments, the first five books of the Bible, the Torah, are for all generations, and that Messiah, the son of Yahuwah, which people know him as God, and the son known as Jesus, but his name is more like Yahushua. We, um, he is our Savior, and he died on the stake for us. He did it for, we have repentance from breaking the Torah. And uh, dogs talking. <laughs> we have special effects in the background, which are, are uh, we have ten alligators with fur, commonly referred to as pit bulls, and um, they are doing what they always do. We can't. They just. I don't know. They talk when they shouldn't, and they. Uh, they're just animals. They're, what do we do? But anyway, <clears throat> so we thank you guys very, very much. Yes, we believe the law, statutes, and commandments are good for all times, and it doesn't matter what Paul in the scripture said. Paul in the scriptures is not Yahuwah, and if you are taking Paul as your Lord and Savior, then you're being led astray by Pastor Led Astray. And so um, I don't know how to stop this dogs from doing this. Um, every time my, mo my mom, my wife stops petting the dogs, um, they go off, and there's too many of them. And so we're low staff today, as you guys can see, since it's just Jade and I. Um, let's see what we can do. Hold on. All right, so we got the, uh, I think, some of the dog distractions gone. Let us begin in this. This is the last book of Adam and Kawa, and um, it, is, uh, it is the end, last, last chapter of this book. Thanks, Miss Nicole. I appreciate that as she flies by and lets me know I was wrong. <laughs> All right, one, and they went on. And so when they went on, for anybody that is just absolutely joining us in this, which I don't think many people would be joining us at this last chapter, but um, Cain and Abel are on a walk. And Cain has uh, ill intent toward his brother, and he is wanting to kill him. And so this is the uh, road. This is the Green Mile right here, and this is their heading down the road. Okay. And so they went on until they came to a lonely place where there were no sheep. Then Hebel said to Cain, Behold, my brother, we are weary of walking, for we see none of the trees, nor of the fruits, nor of the verdure, nor of the sheep, nor any of the things of which thou didst tell me. Which are those sheep of thine which thou didst tell me to bless? Then Cain said to him, Come on, and presently thou shalt see many beautiful things, but go before me until I come up to thee. Then went Hebel forward, but Cain remained behind him. And Hevel was walking in his innocence without guile, nor believing his brother would kill him. Then Cain, when he came up to him, comforted him with his talk, walking a little behind him. Then he hastened and smote him with the staff, blow upon blow, until he was stunned. But when Hevel fell down upon the ground, seeing that his brother meant to kill him, he said to Cain, O oh, my brother, have pity on me. By the breasts we have sucked, smite me not. By the womb that bare us and that brought us into the world, smite me not unto death with that staff. If thou wilt kill me, take one of these large stones and kill me outright. Then Cain, the hard-hearted and cruel murderer, took a large stone and smote his brother with it upon the head until his brains oozed out and he weltered in his blood before him. And Cain repented not of what he had done. But the earth, when the blood of a righteous hevel fell upon it, trembled as it drank its, his blood and would have brought Cain to naught for it. And the blood of Hevel cried mysteriously to Elohim to avenge him of his murder. Then Cain began at once to dig the earth wherein to, to lay his brother, for he was trembling from the fear that came up on him when he saw the earth tremble on his account. He then cast his brother into the pit he made and covered him with dust, but the earth would not receive him, but it threw him up at once. Again did Cain dig the earth and hid his brother in it, but again did the earth throw him up on itself, until three times did the earth thus throw up on itself the body of Hevel. The muddy earth threw him up the first time because he was not the first creation. And it threw him up the second time and would not receive him because he was righteous and good and was killed without a cause. And the earth threw him up the third time and would not receive him that there might remain before his brother a witness against him. And so did the earth mock Cain until the word of Elohim came to him concerning his brother. Then was Elohim angry and much, dis much displeased at Hevel's death, and he thundered from the Shemaim, and lightnings went before him. And the word of Yahuwah, Elohim, came from Shemaim to Cain and said unto him, Where is Hevel thy brother? Then Cain answered with a proud heart and a gruff voice, 
How, O Elohim, am I my brother's keeper? Then Elohim said unto Cain, Cursed be the earth that has drunk the blood of Hevel thy brother, and thou, be thou trembling and shaking, and this will be a sign unto thee, that whoever finds thee shall kill thee. But Cain wept, because Elohim had said those words to him. And Cain said unto him, O Elohim, whoever finds me shall kill me, and I shall be blotted out from the face of the earth. Then Elohim said unto Cain, Whoever shall find thee shall not kill thee. Because before this, Elohim had been saying to Cain, I shall forego seven punishments on him who kills Cain. For as to the word of Elohim to Cain, where is thy brother? Elohim said it in his mercy to, for him to try and make him repent. For Cain had repented at that time and had said, O Elohim, forgive me of my sins and the murder of my brother. Elohim would have then forgiven him his sins. And as to Elohim, saying to Cain, Cursed to be the ground that has drunk the blood of thy brother, that also was Elohim's mercy on Cain. For Elohim did not curse him, but he cursed the ground, although it was not the ground that had killed Hevel and had committed iniquity. For it was meet that the curse should fall upon the murder, yet in mercy did Elohim so manage his thoughts as so that no one should know it and turn away from Cain. And he said to him, Where is, his bro where is thy brother? To which he answered and said, I know not. Then the Creator said to him, Be trembling and quaking. Then Cain trembled and became terrified, and through his sign did Elohim make him an example before all the creation, as the murderer of his brother. Also did Elohim be, bring trembling and terror upon him, that he might see the peace in which he was at first, and see also the trembling and terror he endured at the last, so that he might humble himself before Elohim, and repent of his sin, and seek the th peace he enjoyed at first. And in the word of Elohim that said, I will forego seven punishments on whomever, whomsoever kills Cain, Elohim was not seeking to kill Cain with the sword, but he sought to make him die of fasting and praying and weeping by hard rule until the time that he was delivered from his sin. And the seven punishments are the seven generations during which Elohim awaited Cain for the murder of his brother. But as to Cain, ever since he had killed his brother, he could find no rest in any place, but went back to Adam and Kawa tri trembling, terrified, and defiled with blood. Okay, gentlemen, that's it. All right, that was the set, that was the first book of Adam and Eve ended like that. We a little more detail into what happened. It didn't, like, he didn't like he just bashed his brains out. Yep, and um, he tried to bury, he kept trying to bury him, but the earth kept spitting him out because you know at that point there had been no bodies in the earth, been he, no he, blood, like no this. blood. No, well, actually, we had Adam. He had blood, but he had not like this. The human body has a right, lot of the blood. The earth didn't spit him back up because he like try to like bury it, like the like putting out the defilement. Yeah, and I mean, there's you know, I don't want to get into any kind of gruesomeness or not, but when you slaughter a cow, there is a lot of blood. There's blood everywhere, and so the human body has a tremendous amount of blood. And so this was the first time that the earth had this kind of blood. Even the times Adam was beat to death. Um, you would bleed, but you're not going to bleed as, as when you have like a, a major organ that is exposed. Um, that is where the, you know, your blood is, is pumping all the time to your brain. Unless of course you're drinking coffee. And if you're drinking coffee, then you have 50% less oxygen and blood flowing to your brain than average people do. And although you might think that you're, uh, get this buzz, which you're absolutely getting a buzz, uh, it's extremely unhealthy and it'll kill you. And um, it's not something that you would want to uh, continue on if you want to survive long term. And so it is another one of these hoaxes that kills us all. So anyway, that is it, uh, everybody. That is the end of the first book. Uh, I don't know how long we've actually been on this. Probably a month or two, a couple months maybe. But we will um, wrap it up with this and let you guys know that uh, we love you guys very much. We hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And we will see you tomorrow, y'all willing, for the beginning of the next book. All right, guys. All right. Sure. We're out.